Hey, what's going on? So welcome back to a, another episode of The Daily Study. Today we're going to be diving deeper into Ed Milet's Power of One More. And if you were here for the last episode, you saw that we talked about identity. And so this one, we're going to go even deeper into that identity and how it really correlates to your capacity to grow. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit a like and a subscribe at the end if you got value from this and leave a comment so I can know what you thought. Let's jump right into it. So Ed Milet talks about adjusting your identity thermostat. He says, your identity is the force that governs your life and regulates your results. Think of it like a thermostat. Your internal thermostat sets the conditions of your life. You walk into a room and if it's too hot or too cold, you look for a thermostat to adjust the temperature to what you like. It doesn't matter what the external conditions are. The temperature could be 100 degrees outside, but if the thermostat is set for 75 degrees, it kicks on and the air conditioning cools down the temperature and regulates the environment. The same applies to when it's 30 degrees outside. The thermostat kicks on and warms up your surroundings to 75 degrees. Your life works exactly the same way. If you're a 75 degree person, you turn on the air conditioner of your life and cool back down to what you think you're worth. This is what happens every time your results begin to exceed your identity. You're unconsciously turning on the air conditioner of your life and it cools you back down to what you believe you deserve. Much like a thermostat, your identity regulates your internal self-worth. It regulates your actions and results. Many people are under the false assumption that the external factors are what regulates their thermostat. They believe that getting a promotion, getting married to the love of your life, or getting an advanced degree from college determines your identity. If you don't raise your identity, then you eventually will turn the air conditioning of your life on sooner or later, and the temperature will drop back down to 75 degrees and some other settings you don't want simply because you didn't take charge and decide what identity you wanted. However, if your thermostat is set the right way, it will transcend conditions and you will find success no matter what the external conditions are. Wow. Okay, so I love this idea because for years I've been listening and studying Bob Proctor, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, and the um, the Psycho-Cybernetics by Dr. Maxwell Maltz. And so they all talk about this concept that your external results are a product of your internal identity, your self-identity, your subconscious identity, and your subconscious programming. So Ed Milet was very concise here in summing that up. So let's go back into this words. Let's break it down word by word, sentence by sentence, piece by piece, and see what he's really saying. Up here, he says, your identity is the force that governs your life and regulates your results. So when we're looking at the force that governs your life and regulates your results, he's saying this is your identity. And previously, we spoke about what the identity was. So if you didn't see that, go and watch the last episode. But he said, think of it like a thermostat. Your internal thermostat sets the conditions of your life. So a thermostat works by you setting the temperature. So if I'm in my room and I want the room to be warmed, I go and I set the thermostat and it kicks on the heater for me. Or if I want the room to cool down, I set the thermostat and it cools the temperature down. So the thermostat ultimately controls the mechanisms of the AC, of the heater, and it changes my results in the physical reality. So... He says, you walk into a room, and if it's too hot or too cold, you look for the thermostat to adjust the temperature. And it doesn't matter what the external conditions are. Let's highlight this for a second. It does not matter what the external conditions are. So it doesn't matter if it's too hot, if it's too cold. It doesn't matter if you don't have a lot of money. It doesn't matter if you do have a lot of money. At the end of the day, you're able to adjust the thermostat based on an internal metric, which is what do you desire? Your external circumstance does not control what you set the th thermostat to. So he said the temperature could be 100 degrees outside, but if your thermostat's set to 75 degrees, what happens? See, the AC is going to kick on. If I have a 100-degree day, I live in Arizona, so it's it goes to 100, it goes to 110, it, the temperature goes up. When I turn on the thermostat in the house and I kick it on to 70 degrees, the AC in my home cools everything down. When you are looking to adjust your weight, let's say that right now you want to gain weight. You're like, hey, I'm, I'm a skinny guy. I wanna, I'm 130 pounds. I want to get up to 150. Well, 
in order to do so, you're going to have to eat and work out and all that stuff. But most importantly, you're going to have to go internally and you're going to have to start to see yourself as the 150 pound guy. You need to see yourself as in shape. You need to see yourself with the muscles, filling out the shirts, walking confidently into the room. When that thermostat gets set internally, you're going to find that your external results will not only come sooner, but they will also be more permanent, more long lasting. So Ed is saying this right here with the idea that it could be 100 degrees outside. And if your thermostat is set to 75 degrees, the air conditioning will cool the temperature in the room. And the same applies if it's too cool outside. And so he says life works exactly the way, same way. If you're a 75 degree person and now what's it mean to be a 75 degree person? This is you're not earning the sort of money you want to earn. Maybe you want to earn six figures and you're only earning $40,000 a year. Maybe you want to break a million, but you're only earning $100,000 a year. Maybe you want to have the love of your life, but you keep dating the wrong person. Whatever it is, that's what it means to be a 75 degree person. You're not living to the max of your capacity. It says if you turn on the air conditioner of your life, it will cool you back down to what you think you are worth. Let's let's say that one more time. It cools you back down to what you think you are worth. So the only reason right now, and this is going to be hard for some people to hear, the only reason right now that you're only earning a hundred thousand dollars a year, forty thousand dollars a year, sixty thousand dollars a year, is because that's all you think you are worth. In fact. The other night, I was getting a tow home from Sedona. So my car, I drove up to Sedona about 150 miles north of Phoenix, and my car had car issues. It shut off. It started overheating. I had to get it towed back down. So the tow truck driver comes, and he picks me up. And on the drive back, we're having conversation, of course. And he's about 63 years old. He's telling me that he works 90-hour weeks, 90-hour work weeks. So that's essentially two full-time jobs and then overtime, right? Because a full-time job is 40 hours. So he's working two full-time jobs and overtime. And he says, yeah, but I get paid good money. I said, well, that's good for you. And he says, yeah, I get paid $1,500 every two weeks, $3,000 a month. That was what he considered good money. That's what his financial thermostat was set to. He said, yeah, I've been able to accumulate a savings and I have about $50,000 saved. He's getting ready to retire. He put in his 51 day notice. He's retiring. And he said his $50,000 saved. He's making $3,000 a month, right? Like that's $36,000 a year working essentially two full-time jobs. And he has $50,000 saved and he considered that to be good. And listen, I'm not knocking him. I'm not, I didn't say, wow, that's terrible. I didn't say any of that stuff. I said, congratulations. I'm happy that you're happy with life. I'm happy that you're happy where you are. However, it shows one thing. It shows exactly what Ed is talking about here, that we are going to always get what we believe we're worth. We're going to see ourselves a certain way. And that's what we get. Because here's the interesting thing. When he started to tell his boss that he was thinking about leaving, the boss started to offer him more money as they always do when you're about to quit, by the way. So if anyone wants to raise, go and tell your boss you're ready to quit. This is obviously only if you're a good worker and a good employee. And as he tells his boss he's about to quit, the boss says, listen, instead of me paying you $1,500 every other week, I'll pay you $1,500 every week. He says, no. He says, what if I pay you $1,700 every week? No. 1850 No. $2,000 every week. Whoa. Now he still says no because he recognized he was giving up $90 per hour. But you start to see he could have been getting, while he was already working with this guy for the last three years, he could have been getting the $2,000 weekly, right? Taking his income from $3,000 a month to $8,000 a month, right? More than doubling his income, he could have been doing that, but he did not see his value. He His thermostat was set to 30,000, $36,000 a year. That's where his thermostat is set. My thermostat is consistently rising. I now tell myself that I am a million dollar a month man. I am a seven figure a month man, not a seven figure a year. Cause I hit seven figures. I'm now a seven figure a month man. And so my identity, my self identity has to rise in order for my results to increase and be sustained because he says, this is what happens every time your results begin to exceed your identity. He's saying that when your results exceed your identity, 
Your air conditioner of your life cools you back down to what you think you are worth. So you unconsciously turn on the air conditioner. It's not like you're doing this on purpose. It's unconscious, right? It's automatic. You turn on the air conditioner of your life and it cools you back down to what you believe. Keyword, believe you deserve. So much like a thermostat, your identity regulates your internal self-worth and it regulates your actions and results. So the thermostat, right? Like the way you view yourself, it regulates your actions, the activities that you do, and also the results that come as a product of those activities. Many people are under the false assumption that the external forces are what regulate their thermostat. They believe that getting a promotion, getting married, uh, getting an advanced degree from college, all that stuff, they are looking for external validation. And I see this quite often. In fact, I experienced this when I recently finished running my first 100 mile race that at the end of the race, a lot of people were texting me saying, wow, you must feel so different now. You must be a different person now. And I said, no, because here's the interesting thing. I finished that race back in October, even though I didn't run the race until December, I finished the race back in October when I made up my mind to do it. The moment I made up my mind to run the race, it was already completed. So the external validation, the buckle I got, the trophy I got, that stuff didn't change me. What changed me was internally back in October when I made the decision and I started to see myself as an ultra marathon runner. That's what changed me. That's what created the result. Right, so it's like which came first, the chicken or the egg? The idea, the idea came first and then everything else followed. The identity came first and then everything else followed. Now, if you don't raise your identity, then eventually you will turn the air conditioner of your life on sooner or later and the temperature will drop back down to 75 degrees. So if you wanna have a 100 degree life, if you wanna earn a 100 degree life, if you wanna earn that million dollar a month life, you need to raise the identity you have to raise the way you see yourself or some other setting you want is simply going to start to take charge and it's going to take you back to where you don't want to be so if the thermostat is set the right way it will transcend conditions right if your thermostat if you make it a non-negotiable that this is who you are you raise your standards here's what happens life cannot hold you down anymore Life cannot hold back the man who sees himself as more than his position. In fact, if any of you have ever studied any form of slavery, you'll find that the slave masters, it wasn't the chains and the whips that kept people enslaved. It was the fact that the slave masters would break the mentality of their slaves. They would get them to be enslaved up here. The same way that circus, um, in the circus, this is how they keep elephants. Right? They get the elephant to believe that it cannot break free because when the elephant is young and helpless, they lock the elephant down with a, a peg and a chain that it can't pull out of the ground. So the elephant is stuck. And so as the elephant grows, it just remembers that how much it tried to as a young one to break free of the chain and it never could. So as an adult elephant, as a full grown elephant, all they have to do is put a little rope around his foot and put a little wooden peg into the ground and the elephant doesn't even try to break away because its internal identity says, I cannot break free of this, so I won't even try. It's actions, right? Although it's fully capable, I mean, we've all seen an elephant, a little wooden twig in the ground and a piece of rope would not stop an elephant if it chose to stampede, if it chose to even just move to the left. But because internally the elephant believes it cannot, its identity says, I cannot break free of this, it does not even try. Many of us do the same thing. Our internal thermostat is set so low that we don't even attempt to go for the better life that we know we can have. I'm here to challenge you as Ed Milet has challenged you, as Napoleon Hill has challenged you, as Bob Proctor has challenged you. I'm here to challenge you to raise your thermostat, raise your identity. Starting today, starting right now, starting as you hear these words, increase what you ask of yourself, increase what you demand of yourself. Now, if you agree with what I've read and how I interpreted it, let me know, leave a comment. If you disagree, or maybe you had a different interpretation of these words, let me know, drop a comment. I love hearing your thoughts. I love gaining your perspectives. This is how we all grow. And again, if this was valuable to you in any way, shape or form, first off, 
go and read the full book, uh, The Power of One More by Ed Milet. And then also share this with a friend. Keep the conversation alive. Keep the conversation growing and start to show them that you are changing your own identity, that you are raising your thermostat. And the fact that they are getting this video from you means you believe that they have the capacity to raise their thermostat as well. And you want to see them win as well. So, guys, the next video is coming out tomorrow. Be sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification so you are made aware for when these videos drop. I'll see you guys later.